My friends, uh, I, you need a little straight talk to state the obvious. We Republicans lost the 2006 election because our base became dispirited. I'm happy to tell you our base is united now, but they're still not energized. And our base became de-energized and dispirited because we, as Republicans, allowed spending to get completely out of control. And I'm going to fix that. And we're going to stop the out of control spending. Now, I'm not going to spend $3 million on the DNA of bears in Montana, which we did a couple of years ago. By the way, I don't know if that was a paternity issue or a criminal issue. <laughs> My friends, our beloved Ronald Reagan used to say, Congress spends money like a drunken sailor, only I never knew a sailor drunk or sober with the imagination of Congress. And that's a pretty good line, and it goes over pretty well, you know. I use it so often that uh, a long time ago I received an email from a guy, and it said, I resent, as a former drunken sailor, I resent being compared to members of Congress. <laughs> I can't blame you. But my friends, one of the differences between, between me and Senator Obama is that he wants to continue this spending spree. He wants to continue this, this waste of your tax dollars on unnecessary, unwanted pork barrel projects. And my friends, it goes on. And let me tell you, you've got to make tough decisions. I heard a story that, that President Eisenhower, when he met with President Kennedy when he was in and said the toughest part of your job is the easy decisions are made before you. The tough decisions are, with, are the ones that reach your desk. And my friends, just recently we fast, passed a farm bill. Now it's hard to be against a farm bill. Who could be against farmers, okay? Let me tell you some of the stuff that was in it. Some of the stuff that, that, that's, that's remarkable. $20 million goes to the collection and storage of seeds for research purposes. $75 million for a crop research facility. $35 million to promote the production of hard white wheat. Please, everybody who wants to spend $35 million of your tax dollars, raise your hand that you want to spend $35 million to promote the production of hard white wheat. $300 billion spending bill, my friends. $193 million in special tax treatment for racehorses. $93 million of your money, of your money. $215 million for asparagus growers. I will not make any comments about asparagus, okay? <laughs> but do they need $15 million of your tax dollars? Senator Obama supported that bill. I voted, I voted against it time after time, and I am against it. And I would veto a bill such as this that came across <laughs> my desk. Now the other day, now the other day we passed an emergency supplemental appropriations bill supposedly to fund the war in Iraq. An emergency title, emergency. Now why do they call it an emergency? Because then it doesn't count in the budgetary calculations of the massive deficit that we are accruing and mortgaging these wonderful young children's futures. We are mortgaging it. And so in this supplemental appropriations bill, this emergency uh, bill, uh, my friends, it was supposed to be to fund the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. We have um, $10 million for the administration for educational and cultural exchange programs. Um, $75 million for expenses related to economic impacts associated with commercial fishery failures. Um, the, the list goes on and on and on, and it's supposedly be an emergency. So what, are the, so what, is, the, uh, what is the majority leader of the United States Senate, uh, Harry Reid and others do? They use this as an opportunity to, to put pork barrel projects and unneeded and wasteful spending. My friends, the President's going to veto this bill. Unfortunately, <laughs> as he vetoed the farm bill. And unfortunately, we have Republicans who vote to override the president's veto. My friends, Republicans have got to stop joining with big spending Democrats. That's the lesson we're gonna have. Republicans have got to stop it. And we've gotta re-energize our party.
So I've got an old pen that Ronald Reagan gave me years ago that I'm honored to have, and I want to tell you that every time there's a, one of these pork barrel spending bills that comes across my desk, I will veto it, and I will make them famous. You will know their names. I will make them famous, and you will know their names. And we will stop it. And we will be careful stewards of your tax dollars. 